Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you doing, Taurus? I want to wish you, I want to want to, <laughs> I said it twice. I want to wish you guys happy holidays. Hope you guys are as ecstatic as I am for the holidays. Anyways, let's get into your reading, Taurus. This is going to be for the end of November 2021. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. Please give us guidance, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. What are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is unfolding for them? What can we expect regarding their love life? All right, here we go. All right, Taurus, your energy is the Knight of Wands. Partner, person of interest, two of wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Magician, the Two of Pentacles, Partner's Cards, Four of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Chariot. All right. Beautiful energy, Taurus. So I see you guys setting out on a new journey. For some of you guys working on multiple or different projects that are going to be unfolding for you for this month of or the remaining of the month of November. I do see you guys putting effort and energy and finally being able to stabilize some type of connection. For some of you guys, it could be a connection that was drawn out, meaning you've been putting effort um, for quite a while. For others of you guys, you guys have been in this relationship for quite a while. Um, and it's been very challenging, but I'm finally being able to, uh, not me, but you're finally being able to see um more stabilization in this connection, more enthusiasm um, from your partner. You also do have the Magician card here, and the Magician is that of being able to see the emotional fulfillment that you're able to manifest into your life. Uh, for some of you guys, if you've been debating or dealing with multiple people, um, as we do have the Two of Pentacles here, I do see you guys finally making a decision at or the end of November. Um, and for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Aries, for others a Libra, for others a Cancer, um, or uh, Earth energy like yourself would be another Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Now, the cards that symbolize your partner is the Two of Wands, so they're definitely looking towards wanting to stabilize this connection or deepen the connection. There's also um, the desire to want to expand, or for some of you guys, if you've been dealing with this person for a while and they just don't make it official, um, they are talking about being able to uh, go towards a more stable or more uh, official status in regards to this connection. I feel that in the past they've been a bit guarded, um, maybe even spoken about not wanting anything serious or not wanting uh, to get emotionally invested in anyone. Um, if this was your case or if you were dealing with a person that was very vocal about that, I feel that around the, you know, the end of November, there's definitely going to be a change of heart here. I feel that they are ready and able to open up to deepen the connection and to want to move forward in the most positive way. What they are telling you here is that it's important um, to make sure that you're both on the same page, that you both want the same um, again, don't be surprised if you were dealing with someone that was rather resistant in regards to relationships or uh, any type of commitment that all of a sudden they start doing things um, for you in a very loving way. Uh, they could be simplistic things as just showing up with a rose. Uh, for others of you, it could be just a small gesture that shows you that they were thinking of you or that you've been on their mind. Um, when you do experience this, take this uh, as a sign uh, that they're having a heart of ch or change of heart, I should say, um, that they're getting ready to open up or to become vulnerable to you, Taurus. Now, for those of you guys that have been dealing with a situation where you've been in a long term committed relationship and there's been lack of passion or lack of um, putting effort uh, spending time with your partner, that's quickly going to be changing. I feel that they are uh, more susceptible or more open um, to show you in a physical aspect uh, what you mean to them. If there's been lack of uh, 
you know, passion in the relationship that's also quickly going to be changing as pentacles often speak about the physical as well uh, with the magician here and the chariot and the empress. Uh, powerful, powerful energies when we're talking about uh, physicality with our partner. So I definitely do see uh, a major transition here that's happening for a lot of you. Um, now, when we're talking about uh, those that have been single or are currently single, I feel like you've been working very, very hard towards some type of manifestation. Uh, you may be at around the end of November experiencing like you have to make a choice or you have two choices to choose from. What Spirit is telling you here is go for the one that is not as loud as um seeking attention or approval this could be a very laid back type of energy go for the one that is very vocal um about their aspirations the person that is very passionate and intense about when they communicate so this could be a person that is very animated that uses a lot their hands when they're speaking this is a person that is going to be able not only to bring to you emotional fulfillment but this is a person that may be looking for exactly what you're looking for. So beautiful reading, Taurus. I want to wish you guys the very best. Happy holidays to all of you. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.